our basic message today is that funding immigrant communities is a good investment. And we know this because if you look at some of the statistics, for example, 40% of the Fortune 500 companies were started by immigrants. Right? You look at companies like Google and Yahoo uh, and Intel, all started by immigrant entrepreneurs. Close to home in Chicago, uh, 30 per uh, immigrants are 30% more likely uh, to start businesses than immigrant uh, than native-born uh, uh, folks in this in this city. Immigrants come to succeed. We know this. Immigrant integration adds much-needed dollars to the Illinois economy. On average, legal status adds near, nearly $2,000 to an immigrant's annual wages and nearly $7,000 for those who achieve citizenship. As the report makes clear today, accessing the programs that these, uh, accessing the programs that provide these opportunities requires the work of Illinois' immigrant serving organizations, uh, which rely on the 0.1% of the state budget that the 6.67 million immigrant services line item represents. Now, we know immigrants make up 13% of the state population, but are overrepresented in this economy. So while we're 13% of the state population, we're nearly 18% of the state's workforce. While we're 13% of the state's population, we're nearly 15% um, of all uh, owners of businesses in the state. So our basic message here today is cutting investments which provide five-fold returns is no way to solve the state's problems. It will only exacerbate them. It's penny-wise and pound-foolish. So again, our message to the governor and the General Assembly today is Latino and immigrant communities are essential to Illinois and moving our economy forward. Immigrant services line item in the state budget, which you've heard earlier today, is only 0.01% of the whole state budget, which funds two priorities, the Immigrant Family Resource Program, or for short, IFRP, which engages, Im engages immigrant serving organizations um, to help the state fulfill the language access requirements to provide services to immigrant communities and limited English speakers. Additionally, the other program is the New Americans Initiative, which is a citizenship program which provides citizenship applications assistance and outreach. Um, the challenge with cutting these programs, not only is it that you know, there is costs that will be, um, costs that will affect the communities, but also the state. But the, with the Immigrant Family Resource Program, you know, the state is required to provide um, linguistically and culturally competent services to limited English speakers, so the state will have a difficult time meeting those guidelines. More than three quarters of the organizations that we surveyed would be unable to continue providing IFRP and New Americans Initiative services. In the event of a full cut of the immigrant services line item in the IDHS budget, we foresee that three of the organizations would have to cease all programming completely, which is devastating to the people that they service. Immigrant serving organizations in Illinois are very small, and we, we saw through the survey that one third of those um, have seven or fewer employees, but do a great deal of work and stretch their dollars. You know, the, the dollars that will be taken away from these organizations means that the majority of the communities in those neighborhoods will not be serviced, neither with language access or citizenship.